Welcome to another personal training tutorial for you from aotraining.net. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the PowerPoint uh, screen and also the way that it uh, interfaces with you as the user. There's a lot of features here. And when you first look at it, you might be a little bit overwhelmed. But I'll take you through them just slowly now to show you how you can get started. We have our menu bar up the top. Then we have our toolbars sitting underneath that, where you'll be able to access many, many features. From your menu bar, we have our file menu, which allows us to uh, add new uh, PowerPoint presentation, to open a PowerPoint presentation. We're able to edit. We're able to delete a slide in here, we're able to view, and there's various uh, types of views within PowerPoint. We can have a normal view that we've got there, a slides sorter. We won't go through all of these, but they're all available. Insert, and in later tutorials, we'll be using all of these that you see, even the slideshow, and setting up the slideshow. How do you want it to appear? So if we go into slideshow view, there we are. To get out of it, we go escape. Now slideshow view is very important because if you're presenting a presentation you're probably going to be using slideshow view. If you put hyperlinks in or videos into your PowerPoint you'll definitely be using slideshow view. And so on. We have our drawing toolbar, our standard down the bottom here, our standard and formatting toolbars up the top that you can see here. And that will that is all you need. If you if they're not enabled, go through to view and to toolbar, and you can just click whatever it is you want to have visible on your screen. PowerPoint presents with two text boxes here that enable you to put content into them, content boxes, content holders that you can then start adding your content to. Well, in getting started, there's a couple of things you should know. You can start your PowerPoint in a number of views. This is uh, at the moment in the what's called slide view and so if we were to insert another slide we just go insert new slide we see here the two slides and we can toggle between each slide that we're looking at in here. There is also what is called an outline view. I'll just click that. That enables you to work on your presentation as a whole to add new slides. For instance if you just tab enter here a new slide is added. If you wish to add text, then you just start typing your text. And you see it appearing in your slideshow here to the right. If you wanted to put it in as subtext, you just go enter and then tab and it will appear as subtext to you. I'm sorry, we're just going. And here we go and enter again, it's still subtext. We want to get out of that, we just go shift, tab, and we're back in our next slide. And so you can manage your whole PowerPoint presentation from the outline view if you want. It's not something that I have uh, done a lot of, but you may wish to do that. And there we have now four slides in our slideshow presentation. Nothing on them. Well, how did we get started? We need a template, we need a design. We can add new slides from over here too. I just, <clears throat> I might show you this. So let's just say uh, we want to get rid of these uh, three slides. We'll delete them from, and now we're going to go and put in new slides. We can put in new slides from the new slide button at the top, and that allows us to put in layouts. Now layouts are predefined setups that will enable you, for instance, you might want to put in a content layout that has a number of things in it. And here we have a content layout that uh, is, we can apply it, insert a slide with it, we'll do that. And here it is, if we get in here and we start clicking, we can put in a table, a chart, clip art, all of those features. We can even insert a media clip in here if we want. So it will just depend on what you want to do. You can set your, uh, your PowerPoint slides up accordingly. And even right down the bottom, you'll find there'll be templates to, um, to add that are very interesting. You can put in an organizational chart, for instance, which is, let's say we put in this one here, and then you can start to add information 
that you might want to that chart. So we're getting the idea of what we can do with uh, PowerPoint. There's a whole range of features it's so beautifully set up for us to use. What about if we now want to add a design? We just go to design. Let's choose a design that we want. Well, what about this one? And that will apply that to every slide that we have in our presentation. Isn't that interesting? So there you go. Down the bottom we have our drawing toolbar. All the features that we would still see at text boxes. The interesting difference with our text boxes is that they present with a transparent background in PowerPoint, unlike with Word and other documents, so that you can just type straight into them and the information is in there for you. Our shapes are a little different. You can, of course, make them transparent, but they present and act exactly as other shapes do. So that's just a brief overview um, as to what you might want. You can use the normal view we've used here. You can have uh, this uh, sort of view, or you can have the full screen presentation, slideshow presentation that you see here. So I hope that's helped you. This is Trev from AO Training. Thanks for joining us, and thanks for listening.